What's going on everyone? I hope you're having a great day as always. I'd like to do this video today talking about podcasts. And that's because I want to share with you some of the podcasts I've been listening to. Uh, also some radio stations. Now I've been listening to these because I find that they're really great methods of receiving new information and they coincide nicely with audiobooks or textbooks which I've, I've been reading and listening to. Now these podcasts, some of them are free, actually I'm pretty sure all of them are free except one. And they have a lot of different guests in different industries. So some of them are like business focused, some of them are focused on um, spirituality and religion, and then other ones are focused more on like sports and athletics and strength and whatnot. So um, there's a big wide range of content here that's available to you. And most of these podcasts have like hundreds of episodes with hundreds of guests. And the cool thing about it is you can like listen to one person and think like, who the hell is this guy? Which, which has happened to me. I look up that guy and then this person has tons of books and they have a podcast of their own with 50 guests so let's listen to that. So you can end up going down a wormhole of information and you know getting a lot out of it. So I've been pretty busy with work lately so my upload frequency hasn't been too crazy here on YouTube. I think I'm like one video a week at the moment which, which is okay but you know I aspire to do a few more than that. It's just that you know other things take priority for me. But I do want to get you this list. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, the first one is the Joe Rogan Experience. Uh, this is a great show. It's, it's on YouTube and it's also on iTunes. But uh, YouTube is great because he has these guests on his show for like two to three hours. And um, you know, it's a good quality video. So some of his older episodes are not the best quality, but the newer ones are great. I think he's up to episode like almost 800 now. So there's just a whole slew of information, guests, and content available to you. So I definitely recommend checking out the Joe Rogan Experience. Link in the description below to that and everything else I'm going to uh, refer you to in this video. So number two is called Radio Out There. And um, this is a pretty cool uh, station as well. I'm sure you can get the gist of what it's about. It's mostly just having guests on that are into uh, let's say self-exploration and, and beyond that other guests that are into like space and uh, science. So it's a really great program and I found that it actually led me down uh, paths that I was just mentioning a moment ago where I, I would actually start looking up some of the guests and then reading their materials. Uh, so it's really an interesting program. Definitely recommend checking it out. I think they're based out of uh, I don't know if it's the UK or Australia or something, but I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway. So check out their link in the description below. It's called Radio Out There. And uh, that's number two. Number three is called Sacred Geometry Radio, uh, or it's also called Sacred Geometry International. And this is a station or a program podcast that's run by, I believe, Randall Carlson. And uh, he also has a colleague that he works with as well. These guys are into archaeological digs. They're also into human history. Uh, they also touch on a lot of science, a lot of uh, space travel and exploration. And it, it's just a really great program overall with lots of valuable information. So definitely recommend checking out Sacred Geometry uh, International. Or you can look up Sacred Geometry uh, Radio and you'll, you'll find the results there. But link in the description always. So check that out. Number four is the Tim Ferriss Show or the Tim Ferriss Podcast. Uh, now this is actually a relatively new podcast. He hasn't been doing it too long. Tim Ferriss is a tech investor and he also has, uh, he has a, a pretty extensive background in all sorts of different um, niches or industries I guess you can say. But he has crazy guests on his show. I actually just listened to one today. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger and it had some really cool anecdotal uh, sort of stories and whatnot that came out of that. Really, really interested in the program. So uh, check out the Tim Ferriss show. That's number four on our list here. And he actually doesn't do video. I think the only one that really does video here is Joe Rogan. And the rest of them are all just audio. So it's, you know, it's not a big deal, but you don't get the full uh, experience of the interviewer, interviewee, and their reactions and stuff like you would on the Joe Rogan show. Uh, but it's still great. So Tim Ferriss, number four. Uh, number five, uh, it's actually a similar name to the other one I just mentioned. It's called Out There Radio. So the one I mentioned a moment ago was Radio Out There. This one's called Out There Radio. And link in the description below to that as well. I find that this one is a little bit, a little bit more out there. Uh, so they talk a lot about the conspiracy theories that you'll see online. 
I don't even like using the word conspiracy theory, whatever. It's just a stupid box label that people use. And what that ends up tending to do is it could take some information that's extremely valid and then, you know, all of a sudden it's wrapped up into this this label of conspiracy theory and, and it like it takes away how valid that information actually is. It almost discredits the information, which, you know, is really silly, especially sometimes people do that. They say, Oh, that conspiracy theory and you can't just like do that and then, you know, dismiss everything before you. So and I never recommend doing that. I never recommend taking a label on something, slapping it on it, and thinking you have an understanding of it. Always delve down deeper into the information to have a full understanding. Go down deep into it and then take a step back. That's the best way to do it. Otherwise, you know, a lot of people, they, it's like they look at it and yeah, they just think that they have this, this understanding of what's being discussed, but really they don't. It's, it's just a judgment that's being cast. So that is number, what is it, number five we're on? And <laughs> it's called Out There radio. Uh, now number six is called London Real and this is a pretty good program. It's on YouTube as well. So actually this will be the second um, program that actually does video. So London Real, I think it's run by a guy named Brian. They're based out of London, UK and they have really great programming when it comes to having guests on in different industries, um, you know, be it strength or business or science and you know just lots of really cool individuals and Brian does a great job of interviewing these people. So that's number six. Whew, we're going to get on to, I'm actually sort of, sort of coming up with some of these as, as I go. We're going to go with number seven here and that is Coast to Coast AM. This is actually a paid podcast and there is no video. It's only available on their website. Link in the description obviously. And this is one I just signed up to recently and I'm sort of checking out a lot of the podcasts they have. It's like seven bucks a month to, to subscribe. I would recommend checking out all the other podcasts I mentioned before paying for something because there's so much information out there for free, and especially if you don't have a budget, even though it's seven bucks a month, you don't want to fork that over if you don't have to. There's tons of information for free. So check out the other podcasts. And then lastly on the list, go to Coast to Coast AM uh, and you'll, you'll you know see some really interesting guests there. And uh, all in all, I think that's pretty much sums up, oh, you know what? I just remembered I'd like to recommend one more. I think that's like number eight, which is, um, it's Mark Bell's podcast and it is the, it's called the Powercast actually. So that is a strength, um, athletic conditioning, yada, yada sort of podcast. They talk a lot about like garbage poop stories and other, you know, funny little, uh, <laughs> random things. Some people don't really like that stuff. To be honest, I don't mind it too much. Sometimes I just skip forward through it because I just can't be bothered to listen to another poop story. But, but otherwise, it kind of alleviates the, uh, the mood or the tension that some of the, the guests may feel when they get on that show. So it's a good method as like an interviewer to just toss out some joke questions and just to have a little fun at the beginning of the interview because it loosens people up. So I can understand why they do that sometimes. It makes perfect sense to me. Um, I just personally don't find that much value out of hearing like silly stories for, you know, 15, 20, when they drag it on a little bit longer, you know, that's where I fast forward. But otherwise they do have really useful information on there, especially if you're interested in strength training uh, and health and fitness and stuff like that. So that sums up our list. You may want to like rewind this video and go back and catch some of the ones I recommended again, but I'm going to include all in the description below so you can check them out. I was going to do this as part of the audiobook series, which I've uh, been doing over the past few years. But the reason I didn't is because it's not really audiobooks. And also because I have some other books which I've been reading and listening to, which I want to include uh, in that next video in the series. So I'm not even going to bother putting this in that. Uh, this is just going to be standalone. Check out these podcasts. Let me know what you think. Uh, or if you've been listening to them or watching them, then let me know about your favorite guests on those. And maybe if I haven't listened to it or watched it, I'll go check that out as well. So thank you for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time. Thank you.